Keith, I was out in the morning, I was out at midday, I was out in the afternoon, and it was cold the whole time. <laughs> That's true. No reprieve. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you don't live uh, in southern Maine, he is a man about town. You yes. will see all weather. Yep. You just never stops. You. Never seems to bother like you. Like the mailman. Yeah, it's, it's very, it's very similar. It's good. It was cold today, though. You're right. Sorry, we're throwing Robin on the bus. It's not a bad thing. We're just, we're just two guys who walk around town. It's no big deal, you know. It's uh, today was on the cold side. I also noticed the first time today that there was, you know, more solid frozen ice on the ground. That'll be gone shortly as well as the melting and then the refreezing that happened with our last storm system. We're in the 20s right now on the coast, teens in the mountains, but the problem today has been and continues to be the wind at 39 miles an hour in Greenville and coming in at 23 in Bangor, 25 in Millinocket. We got gusts up to around 40 in a lot of spots through the middle of the day today. So that was enough to make it feel a whole lot colder than the actual air temperature would read and even wind chills now are below zero in the mountains and uh, teens along the coastline so the wind still has a bite it'll settle down by midnight tonight but it'll still be cold but the winds won't be as much of a factor at that point all right hour by hour forecast we see some moderation during the day tomorrow that's the best way to put it you're not going to wake up and say wow it's really warm uh, tomorrow, but we'll be in the mid 30s along the coastline, right around freezing inland and then 20s in the mountains by the afternoon. So a whole lot better than today and the wind will be gone as well. And then as we head into Thursday, I like Thursday, upper 30s, low 40s, good deal of sunshine, especially through the middle part of the day. And then we cloud up in the afternoon on Thursday and that warmer air mass is going to be important for our next storm system that moves in as f on Friday because watch what happens. Temperatures increase still on Thursday night and then Friday after just a little start with sleet and spots on Friday morning, we go over to rain statewide and it's heavy rain middle of the day Friday, mid 50s along the coastline, probably getting to around 50 even into the mountains for a brief period of time here Friday afternoon and in the middle of the night on Friday, it'll still be in the 50s almost statewide. We get into a big, big warm sector. So it's going to be all rain and the rain amounts here will be pretty substantial between an inch and two and a half inches, which could lead to some flood concerns. We'll keep an eye on that based on the rate in which the rain comes down. But there is no doubt with the rain, the temperatures, and the relatively high dew points, this will be a big time snow eater. So this is the analysis of snowpack on the ground right now from satellite. So it's not perfect, but it's usually pretty good. It's done by sensing the temperature on the ground. So a lot of snow, especially over northern Maine. But watch what happens when we kick this into action with the models and the rain that comes in on Friday. And by Sunday afternoon, your snowpack is hugely diminished away from the mountains probably zero in a lot of spots uh, because of that combination of rain and the warm temperatures. All right, marine forecast sees around four to six feet, gale warning in effect, and uh, the water temperature at 44. So the rain on Friday is the main story, as is the warmth again. Middle of the night Friday could be in the mid-50s still in spots. Maybe a little snow shower is what we call it on Monday, Christmas Eve there. And uh, Christmas at this point is looking relatively quiet. By the way, I sound like a snuffleupagus because I, I have a kid that's in daycare, so you can kind of connect, <laughs> connect the dots on that one, anyone who's uh, ever... Uh, germs. Here's a brain drop. So apparently, you can get a cold when you already have a cold. It, it, it Different appears, strains of it cold. It appears that way. Yeah, yeah I learned something today. Yeah, <laughs> I think I've done that many times <laughs> when sure. I have kids. Thank you, Keith. All right, thanks.